hello guys it's been a while how you all doing hope you are all doing fine so today we'll be making zobo drink so let's get to it first of all this is how you wash your zobo a uh, hibiscus flour you just dip inside water and bring it out immediately so that all the extracts will not go off so after you do that for this to we'll be using a uh, the pineapple bark ginger cloves then you add water to it depending on the amount of viscous uh, flour that you are using so you add your water then put it on fire to cook for like 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that everything has extracted so here you see I'm going to put it on fire so here the the zobo is already boiled. It has already boiled very well. You see, the color is colored. So, yeah, like I allowed it to stay for like a more, a more. So I allowed it to stay for like a more two minutes before I put up the gas. Sorry for the angle of the video. So here we'll be straining it. If you are straining, you have to use all this very tiny um, sieve. There is cheesecloth, there is all this uh, iron sieve. The one that has very tiny hole. You can sieve it as many times as possible so as to remove all the particles from it. So this is me straining the zobo with this. You see how tiny this sieve is? see see how tiny it is so this is the final straining so here we are done so the main pineapple we blend i blended it like smoothly so this is me pouring it into the zobo drink already you can blend more pineapple if you wish depending on how heavy you want yours to be so this is the blended pineapple um, that is going into the Zobo drink. So after this, we'll be going in with our pineapple flavor. I didn't just use pineapple flavor, I also use strawberry flavors. The most prominent ones in the market is Foster Clark, but I couldn't get them. So you can always use any pineapple flavor that you wish to use. Me, I use both pineapple flavor and strawberry flavor so you add it to it at this stage after adding the blended pineapple so after adding it you stir it to make sure everything is stirred together before you add sugar for some people that avoid sugar i don't want to put sugar in their food or anything it can blend as much pineapple as possible so that your zobo can be as healthy as you want it to be but here we use just this measurement of sugar not much because of the quantity of the zobo drink that we have already so at this stage you stay it i'm not a fan of zobo but this one actually tastes really very nice so so you transfer it into a container and put it in your fridge and it can, it can stay as long as you want then you want to take it here i served it with an ice instead a glass cup so thanks guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you